Welcome to Ground Reaction Force Friday. Today we're going to talk about a long drive competitor who's had some pretty good success in the long drive events recently. Kyle Berkshire uh, works with a swing cattle ambassador, Bernie Najar. They've worked hard on this golf swing uh, and it is one of the most powerful golf swings out there. Uh, what you're going to notice here, this was when we recorded him at the PGA show. This was swinging indoors, hitting into a net, which is generally people swing a little bit slower because it's kind of a, a weird scenario, but he was still getting 188 mile per hour ball speed indoors and not even really doing going through his regular warm-up. This kid's got some speed. And one thing you'll notice with most long drive competitors is you will see a pressure and stance curve or a center of pressure curve that looks pretty crazy like this. Um, a lot of them now are producing tons of vertical forces. So you can see here Kyle's producing 233% of his body weight in vertical force, which means his feet actually leave the ground. He literally jumps off the ground and once the feet leave the ground, that's when it creates this crazy center of pressure curve uh, where the center of pressure kind of goes all over the place and his feet land in different positions than they took off from. So again, cleaning up a center of pressure curve may not be the best idea, especially in these long drive guys as these messy curves generally create tons of power. You can also see that he's one of the few golfers we've measured on the swing catalyst plate that get beyond the tour average in both horizontal, torque, and vertical. We call these the rare trifecta swings and We've yet to measure a long drive competitor who doesn't have all three of these forces above our tour averages, which are these black bands right here. Those are the tour averages plus or minus one standard deviation. So if you want to be a long drive guy and produce this types of ball speeds, getting all three of these forces above our tour average plus one standard deviation is probably a good idea.